In the early videos, we've installed and authenticated the, the uh, MailChimp for Salesforce app. So what we're going to do now is to navigate to it. And we're going to launch again this uh, the setup program. And I have a subscriber, uh, Deb Sunrise, who I've created in MailChimp. But if I look on my open leads, she doesn't exist here. But what I did was to build her as a contact name with a different email address and, and really different name uh, out in Salesforce because often people will register with one name and that we have to actually figure that process out. This will show you how checking this box and saying, yes, I'm ready to map my fields, is going to respond. So if the information exists in either the Salesforce lead record or Salesforce record, what you're seeing here is first names and last names, which is what we were seeing here is first names and actually companies, uh, and also here, we're using emails and a field called last outreach. Since last outreach doesn't exist in the uh, MailChimp, we actually have to add it as a new field. So we're going to move here and look for a last outreach. Uh, and we're actually going to do it as a date. And we're going to seal, say the name here is Last Outreach. And we're going to add that field to the MailChimp list. And what that allows us to do then is to identify here a Salesforce contact field that we're going to call Last Outreach. And so it's now added. And at this point, we can click Save. And this is a helpful tour. I'm going to flip through these quickly because what they do is you can kind of read through them and you'll see them again yourself as exactly how these different pieces work. But the good news is, is that they're, they're actually showing you uh, helpful content that you can slow down and you can kind of freeze this video to actually read it if you need to. But the good news is uh, we're, we're done with this. And the system responds with a message that says that the, uh, that the MailChimp for Salesforce has been set up, ready to sync, click uh, the data sync setup button to get things going. Uh, again, some helpful tips to review. Um, and we can, you'll, you'll see all these screens again, but uh, that's a good, good setup. Thanks for, for, for watching and uh, watch for the next video. This is the key next step is enabling MailChimp for Salesforce app permission sets for the Salesforce users.